One woman fell from a ditch and the other fell from grace, all in the pursuit of the perfect selfie, David. This happened in China and it is going viral across the globe. Yeah, it's going viral in China. People are shaming this Jiangsu woman for taking a smiling selfie with the other woman who got knocked unconscious. This is going lightly viral in the West, Andrew, but basically because it gives people an opportunity to say that China's everything that I thought it was. Have you ever seen them at a buffet with the crab legs? They're selfish. They're greedy. They don't value human life. Oh, man. All right, guys. We got to go through the comment section. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Uh, first of all, I do believe the woman who is unconscious in this photo is okay. She is getting medical help. She just fell from a ditch while trying to take a selfie herself. So then other people are taking a selfie of her as she's lying there about to get help. Uh, and I'm then while they're taking a photo with her... The, uh, they're taking photos of other people taking selfies. Anyways, guys, I mean, is this just modern culture or is it particularly Chinese culture? People want to blame it on China, but I don't know. Maybe it's just human culture. Andrew, people were debating. Some people were like, man, they're just like us, falling victim to clout. The whole world is doomed with social media, whether it's America or China. And somebody said, no, they are not like us moral Americans. They're clearly evil people who have undeveloped, underdeveloped sense of empathy. They lack the human angle. They are just robot working machines. Other people said, yeah, this does make them seem like us, but don't humanize them. We need to stay vigilant in case we go to war against them. Oh, man. Other people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not think us Taiwanese or overseas Chinese are like this. Only the mainland, okay? And other people are like, hey, guys, we are not all like this. This is just a few bad apples. It is your sinophobia and hatred for China that makes you want to say we're all this way. Mm. So, Andrew, let's get into the comments section and, of course, our own takeaways. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, somebody said... So the person fell because they were taking a video and not paying attention. Then another person videos another person taking a selfie, and then somebody else writes a bunch of articles about it. Everybody involved seems obsessed with just using their phone instead of using nature through their own eyes and just trying to get as much clout as they can out of the situation. Yo, this reminds me of one that one depressing animation made by this guy named Steve Cutts where it's the little baby that's walking around the city and then everybody's on their phone and then this girl's mm. about to jump from the building and then everybody just films her. And that was not made about China. That was made actually about modern Western society. So obviously, guys, I think that this is something that could happen anywhere. I've seen people take some selfies with knocked out people before and maybe she knew that woman was still alive and was about to get help. Not saying she should have done it, but I'm just saying. And the truth is, Andrew... It depends, right? If you're in a really nice, idyllic suburb of America, I'm sure this is not going to happen. People are going to rush over. But other people said, yeah, this is just what happens in any big city. Where does she think she is? New York City? This would just be another slew, slow news day in Chicago. And someone said, yeah, except the big difference is whoever they're taking a selfie with is probably overdosed on drugs or maybe got shot the night before and it's just a dead body laying there. So somebody was saying, oh, why are we trying to fault China for it when we got to look at our own own cities and people are ODing every day, people are shooting each other, which it's true, Andrew. Those things do not happen in China because they have really strict gun and drug laws. Yeah, I mean, I think that there are horrific things that happen in America all the time. The murder rate is higher than China. The sexual assault rate is higher than China. The gun violence rate is higher than China. But but because people, because I, I think pe Americans would like to think that they wouldn't do this. Yeah, or they would show more like empathy, right? I, it's true. This type of incident, specifically the way it happened this way, is more likely to happen in China than in America. Not saying that it wouldn't happen in America. Somebody said, why should some clumsy oaf's ineptitude ruin my great day at the park? I mean, is that kind of true, Andrew? Like, is that big city thinking, like, what, wait, why would that lady, like, that lady can't impact the situation. There was already somebody, somebody descending to help the person who got knocked out. So maybe she was just smiling. She goes, yeah, I got to see something interesting today. Yeah, yo, I, I, I see, dude, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just saying it was a bad moment caught on tape. I don't think she should be doing that. Obviously, the first and foremost, you need to make sure that person's getting help. But maybe that lady knew that she was getting help. Well, she's, she's like, like, yeah, look, there is a man that is going to help her. They I, said that the <laughs> medics are on their way, so why can't I just take a photo in the meantime? I am actually smiling because I am happy this man is descending down to the ditch to help everybody misinterpreted my smile i think people are ODing on the idea that it's chinese though and blaming it on chinese culture i think this could happen anywhere on earth but 
Of course, you know, she's smiling. She's a Chinese lady. It's going viral. And Chinese do have a little bit of a reputation. I'm not going to lie. I mean, when uh, I remember there was an old lady who got punched in Chinatown, Andrew, and, like, nobody initially moves. Nobody initially rushes to, like, you know... They, they, everybody's like frozen. That is right, a right. kind of a Chinese characteristic, depending on what class you come from. Somebody said the Chinese are completely devoid of sense of danger and self-preservation. You cannot be a communist and broadly care about in, individuals. The two simply cannot coexist. Mm. Do you think it's true, Andrew, that this has anything to do with the stereotype, uh, especially of, you know, to be honest, a certain class, income class or education class of Chinese, that they're very NPC-like? Yeah, I mean, that's what people say. I, I, I know what they mean. There, there's sometimes it feels like that. I feel like that uh, Chinese people are not bad people. I don't think inherently. I don't think a lot of groups are. But I definitely think they... they they're very within themselves yeah. to almost an extreme level. They withhold a lot they're of like, emotion mm. and stuff. Yeah. Somebody said, just welcome to the real world, man. The U.S. is no different. If you go to certain neighborhoods, what's all the belly aching about? You can come to my city and see people laughing at homeless people that may or may not be dead in the subway platform or down on the tracks all the time. I, you know what's actually, I think, one of the reasons why this is going viral, it's because it's a woman taking a selfie of another woman where usually if it's like a dude on a dude, you wouldn't think that much of it because you'd be like, oh, that guy is like dead. He's a crackhead. He's homeless, whatever. You're saying that that's just what dudes do. Yeah, and I think that the fact that the two people are women, then it's more striking because they're like, what? Women are supposed to be more compassionate and more empathetic. What is yeah. this woman doing? Doesn't she have kids? She's probably a mother. There's something that seems a little odd or I guess like Stepford wife weird about the scene, to be fair, when you yeah, play it's a it little, back. It looks a little detached. Uh, what, oh, this one comment went in on Chinese society. This is a tweet. Chinese society is selfish and compassionless. This is a society without religion detached from Chinese tra traditional culture. They are used to being abused the only permitted thoughts are she's thoughts uh they only know how to gather wealth and indulge themselves for however long yeah i'm not gonna lie this is uh not the first time that i've heard this before Jeez. and i'm not saying there's like zero percent truth to this but it's definitely not nearly as true as this person is saying to be honest somebody said well what's the alternative for everybody huh are we supposed to just feel sad all day every day these are really big countries america and china you see really rich things every day and you see really poor things every day seriously i mean listen guys what are we supposed to do just feel bad every time we see something bad mm. is it true andrew like in these big cities and big countries it kind of conditions you to go look listen what do you want me to do like that's something bad it happened to somebody else i'm moving on with my nah, day i mean i think that in new york city what i notice is that if something happens people still check on the person real quick i think new york and the big city what it should be is you try to get help but you do it quickly you know that's generally like you do what you can but quickly and so if someone i've seen people get hit by the bike uh, hit by a car while on a bike multiple times and i'm very far away from it but part of me still is like yo are you okay you good? And they're like getting up and they're like, I'm good. And then, you know, I'm just like, oh, well, you know, not that I saved that person's life, but at least I did something to check up on them. You but know? yeah, but it's true. It even matters uh, what neighborhood in the New York you're yeah, in, right? But I'm in the BX in Chelsea, it's going to be different. That's how it should be, is what I'm saying. Somebody said, have lived there for a few years. There is not a lot of empathy for others unless they are family. They, this is somebody referring to yeah, somebody who's no, living in China. I, I, I do think that there were some policies in place where, you know, you had to pay for the medical expenses of somebody that you hurt. So sometimes someone would try to frame you and get hurt by you, even though you didn't do anything. Yeah, they didn't have good Samaritan protection laws, I, t I believe, until, I want to say, four or five years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it, it runs by different rules, but... I don't think that this woman represents China, is what I'm saying. This woman does not represent all Chinese people. Or she might represent the most stereotypical behavior from an era of China that is, you know, they're trying to move beyond, to be honest. Somebody said, throughout their long history, Chinese have been subservient sheep, not as socially developed intellectually or socially as Caucasians. Man. And then, <laughs> out of all Asiatic countries, the people in China are the rudest by far. This does not surprise me at all. They are not known for their affection or sympathy. Have you seen them when they go to a buffet when a tour group brings a busload of them? <laughs> Sit back and watch the show. You're not getting any crab legs for a while. Damn. And then, of course, somebody tried to come in and say, hey, listen, have you ever been to an ice cream shop when a Little League team gets out or when a group of cyclists go into a coffee shop? You're going to be fighting for a spot, too. I mean, 
Listen, I would say that it's, it, it, there's a both truth to those crazy incidents when the tour group is, like, destroying a buffet. And also, like, that's a very specific segment right. of the population, too. Right. Um, do you think it is true, though, Andrew, that maybe, possibly, some of these anecdotal behaviors are more possible from someone who, from mainland China, statistically, that's 60, 70, 80 years old, than, like, somebody 60, 70, 80 from America, Japan, or Taiwan, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I think they grow up in different cultures, and they grow up with uh, different training and different kind of social... Uh, awareness and things like that. and They went is, through the cultural revolution. Yeah, Let's be honest. I think that that was a pretty huge incident. Yeah, what I mean by it's true is like, I don't want to say that this woman represents a large part of Chinese people, but it's true that stuff like this does happen in China. Now, does it happen in other countries too? I think so. And do possibly worse things happen in America? So I, I, it depends on what you're rating it on, man. Mm. Right? Are you, are you rating in a homicide rate, gun violence rate, sexual assault rate? Those are all lower in China, but then in America, we also have, you know, we also have a lot of mass killings and stuff like that. So what's worse, guys? It's so difficult to compare because it's like, yes, do I think an older lady who almost looks like Meryl Streep is going to smile and take this photo in 2023? Unlikely or less likely. But then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that is way more Man, likely that's way worse. You too. know what's this weird thing about America is like America would rather have somebody who like shot three people and is like, yeah, well, he was just angry at his girlfriend. So obviously he should go to prison for a long time, but I kind of understand where he's coming from. She did cheat on him or yeah. something. Yeah, And then they're just like, oh, but he shot three people. And then in China, it's like this woman takes a insensitive, detached, uh, emotionally detached selfie of a girl who's like knocked out. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, China's evil. They got no <laughs> souls. That's just how it is in like, 2023, I'd guys. Have somebody yeah. have a soul and emotion and do something horrendous than people not have a soul and just do something extremely insensitive. Yeah. And I do think that I don't know if Chinese people want to address, like a lot of the Western world, they do care about facts, but they care almost more if as much if not more about the feeling yeah whereas chinese are more about the facts like i literally think this lady would be like yeah there was somebody already going to help her i'm just glad i caught something interesting yeah. today no she's probably like, like for my followers or like my weibo or listen i already did the math i did not hurt her it is not my fault i cannot help her somebody is going to help her and she is still alive so I got to take this picture. <laughs> the mess, the only messed up situation I can imagine, she's like, yeah, that was my greatest rival for my age group of followers, influencers on Douyin. Oh. That is one less KOL I will have to worry about for my contents. Oh, man. Oh. Anyway, Andrew, let's get into the takeaways. Of course, everybody in China would not act like this. But I will say this, you know, some of the older generation, they saw a lot of crazy things cultural revolution economics like i said it is lagging behind taiwan hong kong south korea singapore japan in terms of economic development i, I do think there's some correlation anytime there's a large culture like mainland china that's lagging behind in economic development they're almost having some behaviors that seem like from a bygone era sometimes yeah. literally you see it yeah yeah but again remember guys china is like three and a half times larger than america population wise so of course you're gonna get a bunch of goofy and crazy stories from china which if america was three times the size there'd be even more crazier stuff oh my goodness this country would be would like destroy itself if it was three times the size so i'm just saying what is your perspective you let me know in the comments down below how wrong is this woman is there any context to why she took this photo um maybe she knew the woman was getting help maybe she didn't maybe she's <laughs> Maybe she's off the rails, this woman, mentally, but maybe also she's just logical, you know? Yeah, I don't know. let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. Like we said, man, viral in the East, viral in the West, but for completely different reasons. Uh, until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.